Every year in the United States, nearly 21,000 babies are stillborn. 22 News reporter Melissa Torres sat down with a Puerto Rican woman who lost her baby and is now spreading awareness. Well, Nick, the loss of a baby during pregnancy remains a sad reality for many families. At 20 weeks, about 1 in 100 pregnancies is affected by stillbirth, and Latinx women are disproportionately impacted by prenatal loss. Brenda Sullivan left her OBGYN's office back in 2016. After they told her she had miscarried, she considered taking her own life. She was crushed and quickly made aware of the health disparities that exist for those who don't speak English as their first language. I don't have at that moment no one to give me advice about this situation, no one to give me support. Brenda had been taught that motherhood was critical to her role as a woman in her Puerto Rican culture, and she felt ashamed to ask for help until years later when she found the Empty Arms Bereavement Group. So I decided to go to the group support for the first group support. It was in English, not too great for me, you know, because um, I can understand English, I can speak English, but my emotion, I prefer to speak in Spanish. In an effort to heal and help others like her, Brenda is leading a Spanish language committee and support group for Empty Arms. That we can bring more help for people that really need it, really need it. We, we, we are a lot a lot of Latinas that we need help. That's my motivation, to bring the help to the people that they don't know. Empty Arms has expanded over recent years and is serving more people from diverse backgrounds. They applied for a Health New England grant to expand services so Spanish-speaking people can continue to receive support at no cost to them. If you or someone you know have experienced a miscarriage, stillbirth, or infant loss, visit our website for more information on empty arms. Working for you, Melissa Torres, 22 News.